Hey everyone, good morning, glad to see you all again. Before I start with the video, I would just like to point out that it seems that a lot of you who watch the channel are not either subscribed, or if you are subscribed, you haven't hit the notification bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. If you could take a moment and hit the subscribe button and click on that notification bell, it could go a long way. I really do like making these videos. I've been on YouTube on this channel consistently since 2018, and the growth that this channel has seen over the past few months has been incredible, and I really appreciate all the support you've been getting, and I would love to continue to have your support moving forward. All right, so let's go ahead with the current video. This video is going to be a little bit different from the ones I've made before because this one is going to be short and it's just going to highlight a really specific application that I thought of a few days ago that I thought was useful for me. But when I come up with ideas of, oh, this could be a good use for using, let's say, OpenAI Deep Research, which is what this task was completed with, I sometimes forget that not everyone is really up to date with the latest technology. And I have friends, I have family, I have people who may want to use AI. They don't really need a PhD level compatriot in astrophysics with them. What they need it for is for whatever use case they need. And so the purpose of this video is to show, okay, here's an example that I don't really need a PhD level scientist to help me with, but just something that is useful, something that I think anyone could do. And it's to also just highlight the different use cases of AI, because again, this channel has been really focused on let's use AI to do physics and do math and do coding. And can it solve the Putnam exam? Can it solve this exam? Can it do my homework? And so I thought this example is something that still is something that's of interest of me, to me and maybe be of interest to other people as well. So one of my biggest interests in life is reading. I like to read so many books and maybe that's no surprise to you at all. And I've been really getting into finance lately. So I've been reading a lot of books kind of like the following. Uh, this is A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Mulkiel. This is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. This is The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John Bogle. I have been reading these books, and yet I don't have perfect recall, I don't have perfect memory, and I often find myself having to reread things. And for something as maybe not as exciting to me as, say, astrophysics such as finance, I find myself having to go through the books again and again and again. Now, one thing I did was that I asked Deep Research to write a comprehensive report comparing and contrasting the ideas and advice offered in the following three books, which are the three books I just mentioned. And you can see here it asks, could you clarify if you have any specific focus areas for the comparison, such as investment philosophy, risk management strategies, market efficiency views, portfolio construction techniques, advice for individual versus institutional investors, and historical context and relevance today. And also asked me here to ask about practical takeaways or more of an academic comparison. I wanted the practical takeaways. So before we go any further, this video is not financial advice. Do not uh, take this video or anything you see in this video as, as gospel. Like you are responsible for your own portfolio and you cannot pin it on me. So just putting that disclaimer there. So the deep research took 12 minutes, went through the internet here and gave me this really nice summary of each of these books. It's a long summary, but I mean, it's shorter than all of the three books or any of the three books individually. And so it's a really nice way to look at all the different books, look at how the authors think about investing strategy, think about strategy for market portfolios, these kinds of things, market efficiency. So I I really like this. I mean, this is super cool. I've read uh, only the little book of Common Sense Investing. I've read a bit of Random Walk Down Wall Street and have just started Intelligent Investor. And it's so cool to have something that can just compare, contrast, give you practical advice as to how to uh, think about your own investment portfolio. Again, not financial advice, but I just want to display this for people who, again, may not be scientists from by training, but might have some interesting use cases for AI themselves. And so I really hope that my channel can become not just a benchmark testing ground for AI models, but also just, hey, here's a practical use case of AI that maybe you haven't thought about yet. I mean, I thought of it, I was like, oh, that's a great use case for it, but maybe other people haven't quite thought of it yet or are still getting used to the idea of using AI in their day-to-day -day life. And I just wanna be a resource for you to think of creative ways to use AI to improve your lifestyle. So with that, I think that's going to be the video. It's uh, very short and I want to make more of these bite-sized videos showing very specific applications that I've thought of that I'm sure other people have thought of as well. 
but maybe you don't follow other people who do this kind of stuff and you only watch my channel. Uh, and in that case, I like to be a resource for you. So thank you for watching. Please support the channel if you find the content interesting and useful, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.